Okay, so this is the police station. Uh, okay, no, let's enter. Um, so inside of this station, okay, so outside there's, um, the, these police cars, and inside there's a bunch of stuff that you would normally see in a police station. Like, um, there's, um, some police officers in here also. Um, okay, so now here are the cells. And yeah, um, and here is the inside of one of the prison cells. Okay, who oh, I am heading down the hallway outside. Okay, yeah. Now let's go. Oh, and check out some more of the city. Okay, so this is the factory. Okay, so yeah, I have not designed the inside of this place yet. But I probably will in the future. Okay, so this is a generic pizza place. And yeah, it's pretty small. And doesn't have any service. Maybe I'll upgrade it in the future. But uh, this is what it is right now. Okay, so yeah. um, You could eat pizza here. Because yeah, that, that's like the point of a pizza place. Okay, so yeah. um, the, uh, the, You can't sit down at the tables. Maybe I'll upgrade that in the future. But not now. Oh. I'm really busy with videos and TikToks and stuff, but I'll try, although I doubt my games will actually get played, hopefully they do. Now let's move on to the next place, which will be the library. Okay, so yeah, this may look like a regular library. Okay, so yeah, um, this place, uh, has a lot of books, but unfortunately you can't read. Um, maybe I'll add a book item in the future. Okay, so yeah. And there's also an upstairs area. As you can see, we got some bookshelves and some computers here. And yeah, um, now I'm gonna go over to, um, around the library. And maybe we'll move on to the next location. Okay, so yeah, there are some more computers and bookshelves over here. Okay. Uh, okay, now let's head out of the library. So this is a regular school, um, you have all the classes you might need, like ELA, Social Studies, Math, and Science, etc. Like, um, we have all these classes here, um, although it's a bit hard to see the science, maybe I'll make it look better in the future. There's also an upstairs area, which I'm going up right now. Um, and it leads to more classrooms and even a library. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and these desks, you can actually sit in them. Um, and you can sit in them too, of course. Oh. And, um, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna move on to the hotel. Okay, so this is the hotel. And yeah, in order to enter the hotel, you had to jump through this blue portal, and you will enter your room, your hotel room. And pretty much all the mechanics work, including the lights. So yeah, the lights actually work. Um, yeah, all you had to do is click on them, and you could turn the lights on and off. Well, at this hotel, it has a living room, and all sorts of things. Um, it does all the mechanics in the hotel work. You could also click on these clothes to wear them. And you could also sit on this bed. Oh well, yeah, everything in this hotel works, including the curtains. If you click on the curtains, you could shut them. And you could sit in these lounge chairs. Also, this hotel does have a lot of secrets. I won't tell them. I won't tell you them in this video. Um, you will have to find them yourself. Also, the shower and the sink works. Let me show you that they do. As you can see, they work. And if you want to take a shower, you could go into the shower and turn the water on. Pretty cool stuff. By the way, I did not make all the models in this game. Um, other people, they made the models and I just put them into this game. So yeah, I did not make this motel. Or all the other places. Other people made these places. Well, shout out to them. And believe it or not, there's actually a second hotel that we're about to go through. Well, this hotel, unlike the other hotel, is completely see-through. Well, um, this hotel is not functional like the other one. Although it does have a pool, unlike the other one. Actually, 
that's kind of unrealistic because I think that like pretty much every single hotel in the world has a pool. But the elevator works. Um, all you have to do is press the up arrow in order to go up, down arrow in order to go down, and once you reach the floor that you want to go to, just press the red button to stop the elevator. Okay, so you can go to pretty much any floor that you want. And at the top of the hotel, there's a pool. I'll show you in a minute. As you can see, well, there's no TV and balcony and stuff in these rooms. However, there is a bed and nightstand. By the way, once again, I did not make this hotel. Someone else did. And I don't even know that person. Okay, so yeah, um, at the top of the hotel, there's a pool. And I'm about to show you it. Okay, so the hotel is... Elevator is reaching the top of the hotel, and as you can see, like I said, there's a pool up here, although you can't swim in it, you just can stand in it and stuff, um, yeah, and there's also a hot tub in the corner, um, okay, so yeah, after this, we're gonna move on to a place called the gas station, as you can see, there is a hot tub over here, although it doesn't look that hot to me, or well, once again, hot tub water looks like regular water. So I could be wrong. Okay, so that's the second hotel, by the way. There's a gas station by this hotel, like, right next to this hotel. Oh, and I'm about to show you it. But first, I want to show you this post office. Well, this post office is actually unfinished. Although, oh, the outside's complete. The inside, not so much. It's just like one piece of land with water at the bottom. Maybe in the future, I will, um, design the inside of this post office. But for now, um, let's go check out the gas station. Uh, okay, so now I'm heading towards the gas station. The flying carpet is such an easy way to get around the city and the island. Okay, so this is the gas station, like, just occasionally getting it to, um, tank your car up. As you can see, here's the guy that works here at the register. And yeah, there are a lot of products on the shelves. I may remove the products as I don't want the game to be taken down. Although I was not the one who made this model, other people made it. Okay, so here's the cash register guy. Okay, so yeah, there's also a restroom which unfortunately you can't go into. If I were the creator of this model, I would make it where you were able to go in there. But I didn't make this model, other people did. Okay, so yeah, now let's head over to the water park. Okay, so this water park is pretty small, um, there's only about three pools in it, but it's still a water park. Okay, so this is the hot tub, and over there is the big pool. The big pool used to be different, like, um, it used to look different, but, um, that, um, pool caused game-breaking glitches in the game. And you could also do a flying glitch with that pool. If you jumped into the old pool, you'd get stuck in there, and you'd have to, like, force yourself out by going up on the steps. And you'd be floating non-stop, and it would be game-breaking. So I removed that pool and replaced it with that giant square pool over there. And yeah, um, now you could actually jump into it regularly. And as well, there's also a water slide up on this, um spiral staircase but um it's pretty hard to climb so i'm gonna use the flying carpet instead okay so this is the water slide but i recommend going into first person to use it oh and i forgot to tell you there's this roleplay name thing and you can change it to whatever you'd like and let's be honest what roleplay game doesn't have roleplay names like what roleplay game doesn't have the change your name option to go down the water slide be sure to be in first person for the best experience. Okay, so yeah, um, it looks like a regular water slide for real life. And then eventually you'll land in this pool, which unfortunately you can't swim in it. But however, there is a girl in there swimming. She's an NPC girl. Okay, so that's pretty much what I have so far on the water park. I might add some more things to the water park in the future, but this is what I have for now. Okay, so this is the forest, and it's located right next to the main city. There's also some paths and trees in here, and some plants and flowers and stuff. And there are also these morphs. That way, if you wanted to, you could turn into an animal. 
like a dog, a wolf, or even a doge. I'm going to become a doge because I really like doges. There are also enemies in this level, and yeah, um, you could run above one of the um, morphs, and they, the enemy, if they run over a morph, they will turn into an animal. So if you want, you can make both the enemies turn into, like, dogs or wolves or doges. <laughs> yes, and you may be wondering, how do you turn back into a human? You need to reset your character or die in order to do that. Okay, so next up, the hospital. Okay, so let's say, like, you don't feel well, like you're sick or you get hurt in this t city, on this island. Then you will need to go to the, um, Paradise Island Hospital. There are multiple rooms and stuff in this hospital, and you could roleplay as a doctor, too. Okay, so now let's move on. Now let's move on to the final location in this entire roleplay area. Well, I forgot to say, there's more places I didn't mention, like there's a fire station, a dent hospital and stuff. But also, um, the, um, the morphs work. At least most of them work. Now let's go on to the final location in this city that I'm going to show you for this video. This is the bank. Although, for some reason, the bank system is not working anymore and you can't get into the bank anymore. Which indeed sucks. I will find a way to fix it in the future. So yeah, please be sure. Thank you so much for watching and please be sure to like, subscribe, share. Goodbye, everyone.